Hey, there's Chef Gigi again. Um, I can't find you. I'm looking. In the group text. Mm. All right, so uh, we're going to try this again. I know uh, last night kind of threw everybody off, and I'm sorry. I had a slight uh, emergency with our with our uh, daughter, our youngest daughter, had uh, some vehicle issues. And vehicle issues, I mean, uh, her upper ball joint broke while she was driving. So I had to go and be a uh, rescue dad last night. Yeah, it was a little stressful. Get that. Uh, In fact, we didn't even eat dinner last we night. We didn't eat dinner last no, night. we didn't even we eat We did dinner. not eat dinner last night. I got my, my gorgeous wife yeah, here. Yeah, Chef Gigi, everything's okay. She was fine. She It was just a little scary for her. We were just glad she was on a road where she could only go 45 and not go 70 because it could have been a lot worse than what it was. But... All is well and all is well. All is well. I'm excited about this dinner. I was excited I last know. night. I'm excited. <laughs> I was tonight. a little disappointed. I was about this meal. Damn, it's tacos. I got, it's tacos. I got my beautiful wife with me again, trying to monitor some of the comments to keep up with you guys because. And I'm doing my best, but if I miss you, please don't get upset. It's just because I probably just can't see. You know, the song that was just on was Havana. Okay, well, G Chef Gigi wants to know what's for dinner. We were talking about it. Oh, now. sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, we're doing another HelloFresh meal. It's the one pan saucy beef and charred pepper tacos. Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. Now, I really, I really hope uh, that uh, it turns out anything like it. But, you know what? We got to get started with a drink. Okay? Yes, yes. So, this we mezcal got, margarita. I know. We got we have tacos. We got to have got, tequila. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got... This is really good. This is going to be a great... However, time. he's talking about how good it is. I did get a little bit of trouble for how much I paid for the mezcal. Oh, but, my God. So, mm -hmm. so interesting story. We have... Uh, hey, they call me Ed is in the house. We have this... Um, <laughs> So we were very excited about this meal yesterday. We even went out to our local uh, liquor store right down the street. <laughs> Chef Dewey's. Gigi says mezcal gets her crazy. Yes, I feel that. <laughs> we have a, a local liquor store we like to have. In fact, I, I've known the owner for years, Dewey's Liquors. And we like to visit there and stuff. And uh, man, I've known him for Well, you guys were in the fire years. department together. We were in the fire department together. Yeah. 20 years, I guess it was. Anyways. So we go down there and uh, we get some mezcal and of course one of her favorite tequilas. I like the it. The Terramana, which is uh, promoted by um, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. And uh, man, okay, okay, you know what? So I'm going to butcher this username, but it's really Bill wants vegetable beef soup tomorrow. Okay, he's not going to eat any kind of soup other than vegetable soup. I'm not going to eat soup. He's not going to eat soup. Okay. So we're gonna get started with a drink before we get our meal because we gotta we gotta start with a we gotta start with a margarita on t on Tuesday. It's Friday Tuesday. Yeah. It's, it's Tuesday it's, Friday. Stop. It's Tuesday, Tuesday Friday. It's Friday, so we fried can taco. Yeah, it's Friday, so okay. we can have to eat. So let's go ahead and start with some rice. Oh, we have somebody from Utah here. Carmen, nice. Carmen is from Utah. Nice. Wow. So I'm making two drinks, but I'm gonna give you the ingredients for one. So we're using, we're oh, still are you, in our- Are you that talented? We're still, I'm a little talented, okay. but not that talented. Okay. So we're still using our uh, book, Home Bar Basics. Oh, Maryland. We got somebody from Maryland. Cocktails at Home Anytime by Victoria Ferguson. She's got this little shop there in Alexandria, Virginia called The Hour, but she sells from the Modern Home Bar. The Modern and, Home uh, Bar is her design cocktail wear, but she also sells vintage car, uh, cocktail wear that she's been collecting over the years, so. So we're gonna start off, I'm putting our uh, agave syrup. So it, it asks for- <laughs> Gigi says she needs to drink more. Yeah. Don't we all? <laughs> it, it asks for a quarter of an ounce, quarter of an ounce of agave syrup. So I'm, I'm making two drinks, so I made a half an ounce. And then we're gonna do an ounce of mezcal. So mezcal tonight is from Casamigos. It was the, literally the only mezcal they had at the liquor it store. It was. It was. But it, it, we tried it. Oh, it's good. It's very good. It's, it's very good. good. So it asks for one ounce of mezcal. So my two drinks, I'm going to add two ounces, but one ounce of mezcal. You know, there's a difference between mezcal and tequila, and I, mm. I didn't know that. I, I sent you 
I sent you. I, yes, but mm -hmm. I got tied up yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, I, I had a big Well, mezcal, okay, so mez, they're made from the same plant, but mezcal is smokier. Like, they don't taste anything alike. I'm a tequila girl, and mezcal and tequila taste nothing alike. So Carmen, then, Carmen says she needs to start drinking. <laughs> so, now we're going to start with the, start with. Now we're going to add our terramana. Now, it asks for an ounce of mezcal, an ounce of tequila. I'm going to do two ounces because I'm making two drinks. And yes, that is the Rocks tequila, but I'm telling you, it tastes really good. It, it's I'm really... a fan. I'm a fan of the Rock. I'm a fan of the Rock just because I'm a fan of the Rock, but the tequila is good too. <laughs> um, triple sec. So it asked for three quarters of an ounce of triple sec. Well, three quarters orange of an liqueur ounce. is what this says, but you know, we got triple sec here at the house. So I'm going to add my triple sec. I've already done my agave, a pinch of salt. We use the Himalayan salt. We do. Well, we have all the salts, but we have a lot of for salt. my drinks, I like the Himalayan salt because I feel like I'm doing something healthy. Just saying. So I got a pinch of salt in there. Was that a pinch or a shake? That was a pinch of a shake. <laughs> um, I'm going to add some more ice. So also, this, this is a vintage ice bucket that we scoop it out of that we were able to acquire at the Salvation Army Thrift Store and our daughter who worked at the Vintage Barware Store told us it was cool to have. So Lisa Mullins 571 says, hello you guys. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, you're shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh wait, I got a smile, don't I? Yeah, you have a smile. Am I smiling? John Tepper said that smile. John Tepper said I got a smile. Mm -hmm. Well, not like that. Not like that? Okay, but because I want to make the drink not only taste good. Oh, but, so but nice. Danny, I don't know how to pronounce that, but Danny says with tequila and mezcal, you can make a, uh, something old fashioned. <laughs> Lisa wants her drink. Listen, come on and pull up a chair. We'll fix you a drink. Danny, we can bring it and have it Sunday at your house. This mezcal, Danny, was pricey. I'm just saying. All right. This is good stuff. Here we go. We're going to pour our drinks. Can you all see that? Let me move it over here. Maybe you guys can see this here. We're going to pour our drinks. Because yesterday, mm -hmm. last night, mm -hmm. it was not a night that I wanted to repeat. I yeah. mean, uh, so, so my, my daughter, she went off the side of the road because the ball joint broke. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just happened to have a toe dolly. Okay, again, they call me Ed, says noodle board has to go. Now the oven is not on. Oven's Ed. not on tonight, they call me Ed. So <laughs> I just so happen to have a toe dolly. But then I go and pick up my daughter's car and the toe dolly tire blew out. So oh, it it was, was, it was and it was storming. It was just a bad. Oh, night. it was a night. Chef Gigi says you need to have TikTok guests on your lives. You know what? We're uh, thinking about it. Check that out. Check that out. That, my friends, is a mezcal margarita. Are you drinking on mine? No, that one's that one's mm -hmm. mine. Here's yours. You want yours? Are you make me come get it. I, I'm gonna make you come get it. Smile to everybody. Look at all three followers. See that? <laughs> okay. Now let's get to the meal. Yes, because Lisa wants to know what's for supper. All right, Lisa. Tonight, Lisa, we are doing... Let me move all this out of the way. We are doing a... Oh my warm, gosh, that's good. That is good. We're doing a one pan sausage beef and yeah, charred pepper Danny, tacos from Hello Fresh. That's what we're doing. Aw, Amanda says, you're beautiful. Glad to see you on camera. I don't look like a drowned rat today because it's been stormy and I couldn't get in the pool. So this is what I look like coming off of work. All right. You know what? I'm not going to use my good knife. I, I use this good knife for certain things, but I got an all-purpose chef knife that I like to use. Let me grab that. See that? Uh, chef Gigi wants to know where we're at. We are in the Myrtle Beach area of we're South Carolina. We're in Conway. We're in Conway, but we're like 10 miles from Myrtle Beach. People don't so, know Conway. I know, yeah, but being born and raised in Conway, as Conway girls like to emphasize that we are from Conway. Conway. Oh, we got our shells. Yes, that is a Michael Myers knife. I agree. 
We have a, a shell. Oh, so Lisa made chicken spinach burgers. That sounds Ooh. good. Ooh. Nice. So, just a premise, uh, Jerry a only follows directions, so. Yeah, I follow directions. That's my, that's, listen, that's my whole bit. That's why you guys are here, because <laughs> I follow directions, and I want to show how easy it is to be able to make a magnificent meal and impress your significant Ooh. other about your culinary skills. Amanda is making stuffed banana peppers. Oh, that Ooh. sounds good. Oh, we had somebody that had... Uh, hot wings. Oh, that sounds good too. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. So Chef Gigi says she really liked Home Chef. It made her life easier, but it was repetitive. Okay. So that's why we have memberships. We do all the meals. So like this week we're doing HelloFresh. Last week was Green Chef. Next week I'm liking what Home Chef has. So I, I like to switch it up depending on what they have. Hey, you know what's playing on the radio? Okay, I'm, no. Justin not, Timberlake. No. no. Bringing sexy back. <laughs> yeah. You are not. Come on, let's get busy. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Dream yes, Domingo. Yes, Chef Gigi. That's really worked for us. Like, I, it, it takes a lot of planning on my part, not his. I plan the meals. He cooks the meals. But I just look at each one of the and see what's best for the week. And we switch back and forth a lot. All right. So, I've got the mangoes draining. It says drain the mangoes now. I gotta feisty, fi feisty, finally <laughs> dice the tomato. Carmen, do not encourage him by laughing. We we don't laugh at his. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? I'm dancing. That's that's about. Anyway, you, you 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 got no booty. You're Williams. You got no booty. I got no booty. You know, and I bet there's other Williams on here that will say, yeah, the okay. Williams men have no booty. So we're gonna finally dice the tomato. Look at that tomato. I mean, look at the size of that. that I mean, it's a good tomato. Well, I mean, for the most part, in every one of these different ones, most of our produce has been fresh. There's only been a few times yeah. where we've gotten it and the produce was a little iffy. Um, <laughs> shake your groove thing. No, don't That's encourage right. him. Shake your groove thing. Shake your groove thing. Come on. <laughs> No, no. What, what what channel do you have it on? I don't you know if you guys can hear the radio or not, but you know, we we can't be in the kitchen without music going, and, and the music tonight is pumping. Can I say the word pumping? You can't. Well, okay. So speaking of music, today, okay. So I run a senior center, and um, today we did a trivia game. It led by they call me Ed. And we had a music section of the trivia, and it was so much fun. Like, we were all singing all the music. It was a lot of fun. Had a good day today. Oh, uh, Lisa said we can't hear the music. Oh. Lisa, I'm it's, telling you. It's, he can't He can't think if it's too loud. That's the problem. He'll yeah. Cut I, his finger off. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I can't cut my finger. I got vehicles in my yard I got to work on. Mm -hmm. I got to have my fingers to be able to work on these vehicles in my yard. Because apparently everything wants to break down at once. You know, I even tried to take the wheel off of my tow dolly this morning. And wouldn't you know it, three out of the five lugs just spun, spun, spun. So anybody who knows anything about lugs knows what exactly the heartache I'm going through right now. All right, so we're finally dicing our tomato. Can I say tomato or can I say tomato? Is tomato appropriate, or do I have to say tomato? Why are you looking at me like that? Does it tomato? Tomato. You're the one making fun of the way I talk. Can I say tomato? Mater is what. Danny's. I like mater. Danny says mater. There we go. I'll go with mater. <laughs> mater. Yeah, Melissa also says mater. There you go. See. Mater and taters. Taters and maters. Okay. <laughs> Amanda right. says tomato. <laughs> So we got our, our tomato. Uh, Lisa says her husband fixes her car as well. Well, unfortunately, he fixes all the cars and all the houses. Michaela says, she says tomato. I do too. I say tomato. All right. I'm on the onion. It says peel the onion and then thinly slice one half. Okay. Mint a few all right, slices. So make sure you take that peely part off. This now, peely part yeah, yeah, right here? Yeah. This peely part. Yeah. Take like that off. Like the red? I yeah. like... I like red I know, onions. you'll be crying in a minute. I'll be crying in a minute. But just take that. Yeah, there you okay, go. Okay, I'm going to peel that. Is that okay to peel? Yep. I'm peeling the onion. The onion. 
So we recently introduced our kids to Justin Wilson. Do you guys, any of you guys old enough to know Justin Wilson? I and don't. His, <laughs> and his cooking shows. Oh my goodness. I love Justin Wilson. So now he's onion and what was, it? oh, and his uh, hot, uh, hot sauce. <laughs> Yeah, let's not say that other name tonight, okay? Because I'm still a little... Oh, Chef Gigi's little... got to go to a meeting. Enjoy your Bye, Chef Gigi. We'll see you next time. Melissa says, yes, yes, love, Justin Wilson. Don't say the other name because I'm still perturbed. She's not returning my phone call. All right, all right, no. I don't know what you got against Rachel Wade. Just... She's not returning my phone calls about being a guest on the show. <laughs> Amanda says, you should talk, no. He should not talk like a French chef. There was one time for our kid's <laughs> birthday. Brennan's not on tonight. She's usually on here, but he did a Japanese meal. Like, he cooked Japanese meal, and he tried. Oh, it was bad. Who? It was like, I felt like it was disrespectful. Who, no. Who, oh, Julia Childs, too. Yes. She's who, in, who's that you were talking to? Because Amanda said you should speak like a French chef. Uh, Amanda, you know I am not a cook or a <laughs> chef, and I got to focus. If he tries to talk French. I, I don't even know what he'd sound like at this point. I don't even know if he knows what French sounds like. Voulez-vous coucher avec okay, moi? Okay, see, no, he goes... That's all I know. Yeah, no, and that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. C'est soi. <laughs> he sings it, but he doesn't know what it means. I know it. Jean Malaletet. Yes, you're a headache. Yes. <laughs> I heard that a lot. A little more wine. Yes, Katie. You know, Justin Wilson was always about... That's why he was my favorite. <laughs> Him and... Oh, oh, what was the... Two shots of vodka woman. What was her name? <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take these slices and I need to mince a few of them <laughs> to make a tablespoon. So I'm going to mince just a few of them here. Costco the Green Machine says, good evening. Hey, good evening. We're here making a HelloFresh meal. It's a uh, one pan. Yeah, I forgot what it was. It's a one pan saucy beef and charred pepper tacos tonight. All right, everybody, in the background, that is George. He has to be part of the attention. Oh, he's is George very back needy. There? Yeah, he is. He's very needy. George is needy. Yeah. He's hoping you've dropped something. I know he is. But <laughs> I'm doing my best not to drop anything or cut, cut into my mm -hmm. fingers here. Danny says he has a rat under his hat pulling him to cook like ratatouille. You yes. know what? If, if, if Jerry would have read that word, it would not have been ratatouille. No, I'm just it would saying. not have been ratatouille. Even though it's a cartoon, he would not have said it right. Uh, Michaela has two doggies. We have one because he's a very selfish doggie and he doesn't want anybody else in the house. He's a very selfish dog. He's an old guy. He's an old guy. He's pushing, what, 12, 13? Uh, Costco the Green Machine says, enjoy your live the other day. What are the drinks for this evening? Oh, you missed it. Oh, mm. man. We, we made a um, mezcal, mezcal margarita. margarita. Oh, and it's great. I mean, let me. Oh. I even made it a little pretty. We See? got a question for you. Uh-oh. Dooley Dave asks, what, who's the most famous person you've ever met? Most go. famous person I've Let's ever met. Let's go back to the disaster. Let's go back to Katrina because that would be I, I had a nice 30-minute conversation with George Bush Sr. Yeah. During a response I did with emergency management two weeks after Katrina. We uh, took a, uh, a group of about 60 public works professionals from the municipalities and the cities from the county. And we went and restored water to the little town of Waveland, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. We spent two weeks there in FEMA tents and we had President Bush uh, Sr. walk through and I got to sit down with him and have a nice conversation. Yeah, so he sends me the picture of him with the president and I'm at home dealing with the very first bout of lice one of my kids had ever had. So. I, I don't like that story so much. Uh, but Michaela has a Dotson and a Beagle. Are those, um, what kind of, those are small dogs, right? Yeah, they're small, they, yeah, they're small dogs. They're small dogs? Yeah. Do you tote them around like <laughs> Target and places? My sister's got a small dog. She puts clothes on a dog. 
clothes on okay, a dog. Not only that, she's she's got a lizard. As she's she, got a lizard. Yeah. She puts clothes on a lizard. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's a what what's she call it? A bearded dragon. Uh, she puts clothes on that. All right. So I got my onions done. Oh, oh I got a oh. zest. Wow, man, has got several dogs. Yeah, I, I, I would, I, I'm wanting another dog because George is so old, and I feel like I need one that he can train to be the next. And Jerry won't let me. We don't need another dog with George here. I, I, I know, but I feel like I. Do you know how devastated I will be when it's his time? I can't, I can't deal with it. All right, so I'm zesting the lime. Using, I'm hoping this is a zester, right? Amanda Maybe. says we need a bulldog. As long as they're lovable. I love lovable dogs. So, Amanda, we have to have, uh, listen, there's, I have no offense against people who love small dogs, but I want a big dog. I want a dog that's going to look out the front door and give such a bark that the UPS guy doesn't even bring the package all the way to the okay, door. Okay, so no no lie. No lie. George is so aggressive with his bark that our mail lady will just throw our packages at the door. But our daughter brought her cat in last week in a carrier and George was terrified. So he is literally all bark. <laughs> but I want a big enough dog, but we don't have outside dogs. All of our dogs yeah. have to be yeah. inside I, dogs. I, yeah, I like to cuddle. Now, George, he is a lap dog for sure. Yeah. Okay, so I got my lime quartered. Oh, green pepper. Look at that. Look uh, that Amanda nice. says her bulldog is very protective and cuddles in bed. So There you go. You never know. All right, so I need a half and then core and thinly slice the green pepper. What kind of, it's just a green pepper? I don't know. Is the same I mean, kind of pepper it is? No, it's, I mean, look at that. So I'm going to take poblano, all these Poblano, Danny says. Is that a poblano? Did I say that right? I thought poblanos were like bigger. I got to take all these seeds out. It's good music what? tonight. What music do you have on? Yes. <sighs> it's got me in the cooking mood tonight after a horrible night I had last night. Danny says, that's what I used to make roasted poblano and cheese tacos that Harley loves. Oh, that sounds good. You've not made those for us. You're not special enough. Hmm. You're... You're not up Amanda there. wasn't here earlier, and that's why the night was horrible. Our old, our middle child had car troubles, and then there was troubles on top of troubles, and he ended up having to fix something in the rain, and we didn't even have dinner last night. So it was just rough. Whew! Okay, but we're here tonight. We're making <laughs> Hello Fresh one pan uh, saucy beef and charred pepper tacos. So Michaela says she sees all the ingredients at Walmart where she works. Yes, all the ingredients, I'm sure, will be at Walmart. Okay, so we're going to half, I cord it, thinly slice it into strips. And then we'll be done with our prep. We're going to be ready to cook. Mm -hmm. So we do these meals. And, you know, like I said, I'm not a chef. I'm not a cook. Okay, I, I, I do a, a regular 9 to 5 or a 5 to 9 or however you want to mm -hmm. call it. And I've gotten really a lot of use. Not use, but I've gotten... Nice to meet you too, Carmen. Why he's trying to put his thoughts together. I'm trying to put my thoughts without cutting my fingers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Man, it says he makes me nervous with his thumbs sticking up close enough. Yes, right? <laughs> I got, I got, uh, I'm, I'm expanding my palate. <laughs> We're just all watching you on camera with your, yeah. your thumbs so okay. close So <laughs> I'm expanding my palate doing these meals because I'm making them. You know, the first 20, <laughs> the 27 years that we've been married, the first 27, She's made all the meals, mm -hmm. and I stuck to the meat and potatoes. And, and I am a southern home cook. Like, what I cooked was what I cooked my mom in the kitchen. So it was very fattening, very yummy, very heavy fried stuff. All right, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to make our salsa. We're done with oh, our prep. Oh, salsa? So we're, we're done salsa? with our first step. This is what I like about these meals. It doesn't matter 
HelloFresh, Green Chef, you know, I'm not promoting any of these meals. I'm promoting the ease of use of these meals because I follow directions. That's what I do. And right now we're on step two. We're done with our prep. We're on step two. We're going to make our salsa. So Michaela says, yes, girl, I'm from Tennessee. You know what, maybe I will like jump in on one of his lives sometime and make biscuits. Show everybody how to make homemade biscuits. Oh, and maybe I'll listen, go back and do it the old-fashioned way and do it with lard. Listen, you, <laughs> you come on here anytime you want and, and... My struggle is, is that I'll cook something and then somebody will ask me for the recipe and I can't give it to them because it's like everything I do is not measured. It's by taste and sight. So. All right, so we're making our salsa. We got to start with our mango. I got our mangoes in there. Ooh, We're going to add mango. our tomato. Add our tomato. And then we're going to add... I'm getting kind of excited about it. We're going to add our minced onion. You gonna Can do I say onion? Onion. You're going to do mango? Yeah, I'll do a little mm -hmm. bit of mango there. Isn't that a dance? Isn't that a, That's right. I do it from the a, heart, Michaela. I cook from the heart. Isn't, isn't that a dance? You still look like... Okay, so again, I'm going back in the day isn't and baking myself. Do you guys remember when computers and internet were first really good and really popular and that little dancing naked baby that was all over the place? That's what he reminds me of, that dancing what? naked baby. Dancing naked baby? You just want to see me naked. No, no. Way. It was a dancing naked baby. You remember that it was like the mechanical thing that went backwards and forwards? Okay, so I got my lime zest in there and the juice from half the lime. Now, it just asked me a quarter of the lime. So now I guess it's asking me to... Oh, oh, Danny gave you a challenge. Danny, don't give me challenges. Danny says, I think he should use all he has learned from these meals to create your own meal with no recipe. Danny? Oh. Oh, okay, so uh, Janice is like, it was on the Alley Bill show. Yes! So there's somebody else that knows what I'm talking okay. about. The dance of making baby. <laughs> all right, we're going to season with a little bit of salt. Now... As you guys know from my videos, they always go together. Whether you use them both or not, they go together. We're going to add some salt. Oh, doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good? I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it smells good too. Wow. So, since they call me Ed mentioned it earlier about the noodle board. Let's give a shout out to the noodle board over there because they they call me Ed made it for us. <laughs> the oven's not on tonight. I get yelled at all the time. Uh, Michaela agrees 100% that you need to put all you know into creating your own thing. Let's see, can you see that now? Okay, because we're going to be doing some work over there on the stove. All right. But I follow directions, okay? I don't come up with this stuff. <laughs> Okay. I but that would be a fun that. challenge. Now, okay, but Danny, since you come up with it, you would have to be the one to taste what he okay. makes. Noodle I'm board's coming off. Guys, this is a noodle board. I've oh. never heard of a noodle board before until Jennifer wanted to get one and then it's pretty. And then we had it made. Okay, it's multi-purpose. So like it is multi-purpose. It when we were living in the apartment, it could be used as extra counter space. And now we'll put it on our cloth ottoman. And use it for puzzles or games where it's it's multi-purpose. We use it for everything. Okay, we're getting ready to... Okay, Danny said he tastes as well. Okay, we're getting ready to do our um, cooking now. Michaela on, says salt and pepper do go together. We're on step three. Now, I don't have any non-stick cookware in the kitchen because I tend to burn things. But I do, before I add my cooking oil, I do like to spray this just so it's easier to clean up. You know? All right, we don't have nonstick. And then, uh, and a side note, I was showing pictures of how we have our pots and pans stored to one of my members, and she was like, "Our pans aren't clean enough to do that." I'm like, "Well, Jerry will literally take his drill yes. to keep the pans clean." Oh, pans clean? Let me tell you. Um, we ah, learned... so Melissa says she wants a noodle board for a camper stove. Marie, it is a noodle board. Noodle board. Noodle board. Noodle board. Noodle as in like pasta? Yes, noodle board. I don't know why it's called a noodle board. I don't know why it's called I, a noodle When board. I initially went to your dad to make it for me, I asked for a stove thingy. He is probably cringing right now because you keep saying he made it. 
And he doesn't do Listen, this for a Listen, if you live in our area in October, we're going to be having a yard sale at my senior center. He's going to be selling some of his stuff. So Is he going to be selling it. a noodle board? I told him he should. Oh, scrub daddies. Are all, we have not tried the scrub daddies. I thought that was a gimmick. All right, so we'll have to try it. I've learned oh, my pants, yeah. they get clean using this uh, barkeeper's friend. Well, the pans, Ooh, the stove, right. he cleans everything yeah. in the kitchen with that. I brush my teeth with it. Oh, Danny says maybe a noodle board because it was used to make homemade pasta to keep is, mess Is he contained. coming up with things on his own? He is. Is he? Is, yeah, he is. Going? He okay, is. so I've got my pan getting hot. We're going to add the green pepper and sliced onion and a pinch of salt. Is that a pinch? Why did I do that? Is that, is that okay, like a pinch? Okay, but that varies because my pinch is littler than your pinch. Your pinch is littler. So, so who are they making these meals for? Is it for people with big, big hands, hands like you? Or people with small, tiny, dainty hands? I don't know, but we don't have Chef Gigi anymore to tell us, so. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go, I'm going to go with Danny? my pinch. I'm going to go with my pinch. Okay. Okay? Uh, you can use the little cute little straw. Oh, that is so good. What is wrong with you? That is so good. All right. George is getting aggressive. I got to okay. let him out. All right. So I'm going to go with and put my green peppers, <laughs> green peppers, and my sliced onion. Ooh, that smells really good. And then a pinch of salt. And then we're going to let those cook for a little bit until tender. And then... We're going to add salt and pepper. Ooh, we're going to change it up a little bit. All right, so Amanda says it's up to the chef's discretion. Gotcha. Tonight, you're the chef. I'm a chef? Say that again slower. Tonight, you're a chef. Yes. Well, I feel like you should be in like an apron or, you know. Something. Oh, you know what? I have an apron. Mm -hmm. I have a whole hat and apron. You do. You do. I got one for Christmas one year. Yes. Homemade. I sure did. I don't know where it is. That was a lot more than a pinch, by the way. I'm just saying. That was a pinch. That was no. my no. hand pinch. No. It was like a... No. It was like a... No. That was like a lot. That was, it was a like lot. A, that was a lot. Like a, that like was a, a lot. pinch. That was a lot. It was like... That, that was more okay. than a pinch. Um, so we're going to let that cook until tender. Um, and then we're going to do our beef. I thought it was pork. It's beef? It's beef. Oh, cool. It's beef. Uh, beef. We're going to use this blackening spice. Is that what that is? So one thing I like about these meals is I don't have to come up with the spices on their own. It comes with the spices. So it says blackening Blackening? Blackening. Blackened? No, it says blackening spice. It does. It does oh, say that's blackening. Weird. In fact, it says it right there on the package. Look, on the package. Blackening spice. Melissa says a pinch would be between one sixteenth and one eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, which is the size of my hand. Perfect. Not really. Amanda no. says next time you should ask for a pinch of salt instead of a dusting. <laughs> I like Amanda. Where's Amanda from? <laughs> She's from the south. <laughs> Amanda, when, we, when I moved to the, the south in the late 80s, I had to learn very quickly that when I ask for tea, uh, Amanda's from Ohio. It comes with sugar. Yes. And then once you cross that Dixie line, when you ask for tea, it comes with no sugar. And you can't mix it. When they hand you a packet of sugar, you can't mix that. So you know what I do in the house if I wanted sweet tea? You don't drink we make sweet a, tea. We make a pitcher of tea, and then I take my right hand because it's it's the most sensitive. And I just put it right in the pitcher and I stir it up for about three minutes. I don't want it too, hey, too so, sugary. I don't want it too sweet. Three minutes. So, Holly Day just became a top one viewer. Just saying. I don't know what that means. If, I go, if I go more than three minutes, it gets too you know sweet. You go away. 
And then uh, my, right, don't be hating on the sweet tea. My sweetness is all in that tea just from me mixing it up. In fact, I should okay. come in after working outside yeah, okay, all day. Okay, no, stop. Just, just stop this conversation before. Mix it all up. Look at that. That's what I should do. Okay. I have made sun tea, Amanda, when I was younger. My mom made that a lot. All right, so we're going to transfer. So we're going to salt and season this. Transfer oh, this Melody part. says, good evening from a sister in the Air Force. Well, thank you for your hey, service, hey, Melody. Hey. We are a military family for sure. So thank you for what you do for us. Where at? Where is she serving at? Okay, so I'm going to take this off. It says uh, turn off the heat, transfer to a plate, wipe out pan. Because we're getting ready to put the meat on. We're now moving into step four. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's starting to smell good now. It didn't smell good before. Oh, Melody's in Germany. My wow. uncle my uncle served in Germany for many years. And my cousin, who was my age, and she was young when they went over there, she said that was the most difficult language to try to, to learn was German. All right, let's wipe this pan out. But it said just wipe it out. So I'm going to wipe it out. Okay. And then. Oh, my goodness, it smells good. So let's heat up some oil. Amanda says that her dad was an MP in Korea. Man, we're getting ready to put the meat on. All right, so I've got that. We're going to add the beef, blackening spice, and a big pinch. It actually says in bold letters. <laughs> big pinch. All right. Is it wait, not? Wait, big yeah. pinch. So you can big shake pinch. it. So you can shake it. That is not what I meant. You said shake it. That is not what I meant. Well, right now, we're all giving shout outs to Melody for her service. Very cool. We like military family. Danny says, always season to taste. I don't want to taste a bunch of salt. You guys can't hear the music, but it's really good. It's really good tonight. <laughs> Amanda says, shaking that stir. <laughs> Everything in this house apparently is shaken. All right. So, let's do our. Blackening seasoning. Man, it's pretty cool. We got somebody tuning in from Germany. Holy cow. Very nice. There we go. Uh, Melanie says, luckily I speak seven languages and German is one of them. Bless you, Melody. Melody, I'm just now learning and, and really coping with the English language. Yeah, and he really struggles with English. I mean, you have no idea how I struggle with that. All right, so we're going to cook that up, and then we're going to stir in the concentrate. Oh, man, this smells so good. This blackening tea, I don't know what's all in it. But. I don't know, but it's smelling good, and I'm getting hungry. For those of you that are new here, for the first 27 years of our marriage, I did all the cooking. So it's really exciting for me to watch him cook and me get to eat. Did you hear that? She gets excited watching me cook. Isn't that cool? Happy wife, happy life. Has George had medicine? Nope. Yeah. Oh, Amanda says she wish you. I wish you could smell it too. It smells really good. All right, side track. Got to give this doggy his treat. Okay, so we're in step four. We're cooking the meat. Now we got to cook that thoroughly, and then we got to add the concent. Oh, mm -hmm. this is the um, stock concentrate and two tablespoons <laughs> of water, and then uh, we're going to return the veggies to the pan. Thingram says, I love watching a man work. Me too. Happy spouse, happy house. Yes, exactly. It is definitely a mutual thing in this house. I am very fortunate in that, for sure. And so is he. Because I will get out there and cut the grass. And I did, I, I did, I cut the grass and cooked the dinner for most of 
our marriage because you work so much. All right, so I'm going to add the stock. That's a little thick. God, it smells good, though. Yeah, it does smell real good. So put that in there. Then we're going to return the veggies to it. Michaela loves to watch her hubby make French toast. Okay, he does not make French toast. That is my... He's never made that. That's my I don't, thing. I don't do things. I gotta, I gotta follow directions. Okay? And he, does, he doesn't bake. That's my thing. I don't, so I don't, there are yeah. certain things he, he will, he will do. I meat. am returning the veggies to the meat pan. Returning the veggies uh, to the pan. So Michaela's been married five years. Next month we've been married twenty-seven years, and in October it, we will have been together for thirty years. We are. High school sweethearts. Michaela, that's because I'm a very patient individual. Whatever. Whatever. That's because you worked so much in those first years and didn't see you. That's why our kids turned out so good. That is a good drink. Uh, Amanda, 27 years too. That is a good drink. You know, that that's not common these days, having long marriages. So, shout out to you for 27 years. All right. You know what? We're, we're at the point we're going to warm our tortillas because that's step number five. Because I follow directions to make a great meal. And we're on step number five. Uh, we're making a HelloFresh one pan saucy beef and charred pepper tacos. It says wrap tortillas in a damp paper towel and microwave until warm and pliable on 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm wrap it So Melissa up. says her husband makes the best homemade hash browns with ham, cheese, and onions. That sounds really good. So I got a... Oh, Thin Graham? Thin Graham? I, I really I, I worry about how I pronounce this, but they've been married for 41 years. Also Whoa. high school sweethearts. Wow. That's amazing. Where are they from? Y'all are my inspiration. Where y'all from? Uh, Amanda says they make tortilla warmers. That you really? put in your microwave, yes? Nice. I'm gonna put that Oh, Pat, Pat, Patty says, rats, did I miss the cocktail? Oh my God. Yes, Patty missed the cocktail and it has gone straight to my head. So I forget Chatty, I'm sorry. There's Patty, a lot it's of a mezcal margarita. Look at that, I even put the lime on it to make it look yeah. pretty. Because she's worth it, that's why. They're from Missouri. Mmm. Very cool. So oh, right now, Melody says she would have been married 21 years, but her fiance was killed in the Twin Towers. I am so Ooh. sorry. We we were also affected by people we knew from that incident. So I am so sorry. Danny has been married for almost nine months, but my goodness, Danny Danny is married to my oldest daughter, so it probably feels like he's been married for nine years. I'm just saying. Oh, it's got to. I mean, the way she is. It, uh, she, Patty it says to. she loves me. I love. Okay, so Patty, this, these margaritas. So we bought the mezcal. We went to the local liquor store nearby us, and they only had one mezcal. Dewey's Liquors. Dewey's right Liquors. Right down the street. I've known the guy for years. Yeah, I know, but there was only one mezcal, and it was like seventy-five dollars. But I bought the mezcal because we were going to do this mezcal margarita. Game changer. Like this, the mezcal with tequila is amazing. You see what I'm doing, right? Guys, you see what I'm doing? I'm on step six. Serve the meal. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, Patty, you really need one. Look at this. Oh, that's good music too. Check. So you say. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so now we're gonna top it off. Oh that looks good. Our salsa. So we've got a mango salsa here that he was making earlier that I'm interested to see him try. This should be good because mango is out of his comfort zone. Mango is way out of my comfort zone. We went to, where were we at? Would you like some? San Antonio? Would you like some want, yes. red pepper crema? I do. Is that what it's called? Yes, I want all the stuff. Red pepper crema? 
You want some red pepper cream? Mikhail says, I was so jacked to meet y'all, but I gotta get to bed 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 a.m. is very early. Well, we're almost finished up anyway, so nice to meet you, Michaela. We'll see you next time. Next time, Michaela. Appreciate uh, it. Melissa says he's trying to drop it like it's hot. He's trying. He's That's trying right. so hard. I'm dropping like it's hot. Look he's at trying. that. He's trying Check so hard. Check that out, guys. This is my version. <laughs> he was doing a small version of Raise the Roof. Yes. <laughs> Hello Fresh, one pan saucy beef and charred pepper tacos. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, we so, did this tonight. I know normally made, I come around and taste it, but no, this is totally in my comfort zone. I want to watch you taste it. We made mezcal margaritas in the beginning, and they are. Mine's gone. You make me another one. They are so good. You make another one. She's probably gonna finish mine. Okay. And we made one pan. <laughs> Melissa beef. says she can only drop it like it's warm. Me too, Melissa. <laughs> Check this out. Danny wants you to try the mango. He's here we waiting. go. Everybody's waiting to see you try it. Oh, here we go. Look. All right, how is it? There's a lot of colors and flavors on there. There's a lot of flavors in uh -huh. this. Hi, how are you doing? There's a lot of flavors in this. The beef is seasoned. <laughs> So really there's a dude on here named Dwayne Waller that wants to know where you buy all that great liquor. Dwayne, I bought the <laughs> liquor. Listen, I got these great bottles at Dewey's Liquor <laughs> right down the road. I, w I was just saying that, that we had a whole plan last I night. Know. He's got great staff. I mean, this, this place oh, has got, yeah. she was wonderful last yeah, night. Yeah, and there's one in particular that's there that every time she's there, she makes my day. So great staff, absolutely. But she was going to be on my live last night. I'm sorry, guys. I was not on the live last night. We had a family emergency come up. But, man, thank you for joining us tonight. These tacos are great. Join us again Monday through Friday, 6.15. I'm going to enjoy, well, she's going to enjoy the rest of my <laughs> mezcal margarita. Miss Tracy, Miss Tracy. Miss Tracy was the one. Mm. I, great person. Okay, I have not been in there. I'm, I'm okay, so I'm not just saying this because we know the owner, but yeah, the, you've got great staff. Yes, we, we love going in your store. Absolutely. We, we do love going yeah. in their store. It's, it's, it, we go in for liquor. We come out with great stories. We really do. Okay, right, everybody's guys. saying have a good dinner. Enjoy your weekend. We're gonna go eat. Mm. Y'all have a good weekend. I'll see you Monday. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs>